still friends today. Praise the Lord, man. And his business has done what? His business has grown. Mm -hmm. One of the largest in San Diego in the auto industry. Mm -hmm. Because I helped him. Right. Man, and he still comes to me, came to me last week in regards to uh, some issues that he was having as far as in regards to his marriage. Yeah. But I still help him. I remember that story. I remember that yeah. friend too. Yeah. I remember when remember that happened. That Holy, yeah. you just, just, just me. That click. I was like, oh yeah, that's oh, him. Just, okay. It's your register. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But God challenged me uh -huh. to do that. Why? Because I knew that that's the principle mm -hmm. that I had to forgive. Right. And the last principle. The last principle. Mm -hmm. Is to trust yourself. Mm. Trust yourself. Right. Trust yourself that you can do it. Trust yourself mm -hmm. that you will be able to gain the ability to do mm. what it is that's before you. Right. Even if you've never done it before, mm -hmm. trust yourself mm -hmm. that you can do it. Man. And when you put those things together, mm -hmm. you will give, you will forgive, and you will trust right. yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have nothing but love. Mm -hmm. Because that's going to be your, you know, like people take those energy drinks, that's going to be your energy drink. Mm. That's going to be your booster. Because when you're ready to kill, you go feel like you're ready to love. Mm. Because sometimes you can be challenging where you're angry and you can be upset. Because why would, it takes the focus off of you. Because when you don't forgive, you say, why was I treated like this? Why was I done like this? Why? Mm -hmm. You don't have to think about that. And you don't think about what people think about you. Right. And wor worrying about money? Hmm. You don't have to worry about money. Because mm -hmm. you know what? You're going to eat off the fat of the lamb because God is going to do what? He's going to be bringing people to you mm -hmm. to feed you like he feeds the birds in the air. Amen. So, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say, don't pay your rent. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, take care of those things. Like, well, Dr. Hutch said, you know, let, let the people feed me. <laughs> you know, so pay your rent. <laughs> you know, pay your bills. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you are challenged and you come up short, right. God will make it work out for you. And, and that's the, folks, repeating those principles again, to give, mm -hmm. to forgive, mm -hmm. And to trust right. yourself, right. those are things that will help you. Because right. I, I'm telling you, man, uh, it's tough. I'm telling you, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm actually telling you to eat a stud missile. <laughs> You're not a bullet, a stud missile. Because you know, sometime we're ready to explode. <laughs> you know? uh -huh. But you eat that stud missile because you don't want it to harm anybody else. Exactly. You know? So certain things you just take in, and you try to shelter people. I mean, and if you start doing that, folks, believe me, over the next few weeks, few months, you're going to see something change in your life. You know, like when mm -hmm. you're driving down the street and your car shifts gears, you're going to feel that mm -hmm. in the next couple months. You go, Goo -goo, and next thing you know, you're going to be going to God's speed. Whoa. Praise the Lord. And when you're going God's speed, yeah. you, know, you better put <laughs> on the chin strap, <laughs> put the seatbelt on, and a helmet and some gargles. Because there's no stopping you. Yeah. There's no stopping you. Because there's no stopping you. Because the question is, can I be rich? But with those principles, you can. Well, you know, Dr. Hutch, I just want to tell you, you are a living example to what you're talking about and to see the transformation in your life. And, you know, just proud of you. And listeners out there, if you get an opportunity to come on down to the workshop, do everything you can to make it down here and to get on that path. Yeah, and uh, Chris is, uh, is a great friend. He's been challenged with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. But, brother, it's like, you know, every time I think about you, I say, man, that brother is always swimming. <laughs> <laughs> One day he will come out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people will be able to see how tall you are. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 Folks, I'd just like to thank you for tuning in to the Dr. Ash this evening. We have had a great time. And, uh, we just had a couple other things. Our real estate, we almost forgot about our real estate tip of the week. Oh, there you uh, go. Our real estate tip of the week is if you're having problems with your investment uh, as far as property or whatever, seek uh, 
advice from a professional. Seek advice for somebody who know what they're talking about, who've been there. Um, we actually uh, have consultants at our office that can help you. You're struggling with a mortgage, because uh, I know a lot of people that does interest only and a lot of different things that's happening in their life, and uh, struggling with uh, may possibly be about to go into foreclosure. There's opportunity for people to help you. You can contact our office at 877-571-4652. By extension 2, uh, that's 877-571-4652 if you need professional advice or if you have somebody that you know, uh, please contact them. Business tip of the week, quit running a ghetto business. How was <laughs> that? <laughs> you know, quit, quit trying to be ghetto rich and uh, run that business properly. Take care of your taxes. Take care of the things that mm -hmm. need to be done. Uh, get correct payroll, uh, find a company that does payroll, whatever, and uh, pay your people and take care of business, things that need to be done, you know, um, to put you in the ghetto business. And uh, also open your business on time. All right? Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Ikes, and we thank you. And we tune in next week as we start talking about helping you get prepared for the next coming year. This is Dr. Ikes. Have a good evening.